let me see you as you really are. Johnny, country's putting themselves in debt. Yes, debt. Is there no repercussions for this? <laughs> yeah, Johnny, well, let me put it this way. Yeah, say you've got a household. Yeah, yeah. In your household, you've got to pay a mortgage. Yeah. And in your household mortgage, you are having to borrow money just to pay the interest payments on that mortgage. And you had to keep borrowing money, well, I don't know, just to pay the interest rates on your mortgage. Do you think that'd be a very sound situation for a household to be in? Well, when you put it like that, Johnny, it seems bloody they, they should be bought. No, I don't think so either. But that's exactly what the US seems to be doing at the moment. This is a national debt clock. It's been in New York since the late 80s, and it shows the gross national debt that we as a nation owe countries, companies, and people that lent us money, almost exclusively in the form of bonds. Back in 1989, it was just shy of $3 trillion. Today, it's north of $30 trillion. And if you look at it by household, there's a reality check, more than $300,000 owed per household. Holy shit, Johnny! More than three hundred thousand dollars owed per household. Well, I don't know. Oh well, yeah. U.S. House of Representatives has voted to approve a bipartisan bill to suspend the government's thirty-one trillion U.S. dollar debt ceiling just five days before the deadline to avoid a default. It seems, Johnny, that the U.S. it has to keep raising the debt borrowing ceiling. They call it. Uh, so they can borrow more money just to keep the bloody government and everything bloody running. You know, my uh, emphasis, uh, you know, leaving the free market, running for Congress, is we've got to turn the trajectory of a nation that's headed towards bankruptcy. What do you want me to do, draw you a picture? A nation that's headed towards bankruptcy. The U.S. routinely is spending more than the country and the government is taking in. So we are living beyond our means. As of this year, the U.S. is already spending more on the interests of its debt than on national defense. Let me see you as you really are. Jesus Christ, I don't know. I don't know if you're living in the U.S. whether you'd be too concerned about it. A lot of people don't seem to be too concerned about it, but in my bloody humble opinion... <laughs> If you're doing that, well then you should be bloody classed as bankrupt. Johnny, are you saying that the US is technically and probably morally bankrupt? Bankrupt. Well, well that's what would happen if you had a mortgage or you had a business or something like that and you kept borrowing just to pay the interest on those bloody st stuff you borrowed. Trajectory of a nation that's headed towards bankruptcy.